Oh, well, time to get to potions. Actually, a lot quicker than uh, previously. Just go straight there, just about. Okay. Maybe we can learn how to make some of these potions. I've been gathering all these ingredients. It's one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach like new heights of both <laughs> discipline it's not Snape, and but it looks intellect. Like you will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. I guess it'll probably be similar. They have to you brew for a certain when time. You might need it. Please begin. Anything fancy about the process? We'll just put in box and then wait. Use a strong, by box, even motion cauldron. when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Okay, fairly straightforward. <laughs> Ah, yeah, once we actually try and do it consistently. Gotcha. Alright. And use a wider motion. Mr. Takar. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain. And will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Simple enough. Okay. My parents considered Sorry, keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Did I hear Professor Sharp hmm? say that you have permission to go into his office? Be jealous. Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so uh, myself. Standard Weasley, Fred here. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're uh, as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather. Fooper. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh, whatever. I'll get you the fooper feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Uh, Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. <sighs> Let's get a fupa feather too. Remember, precision. <sighs> Anything else I can collect on me? No, no. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an aura. I wish he talked about it. Here's the fupa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. Mm, okay. This is going to take a moment to brew. 
You should get back to brewing your Endurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Q. Professor Sharp said that Wiganwell potion. My Wiganwell potion's utter rubbish. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. Proficiency in potions are two things that mm. cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Okay, now in chain. One in one. Four, one in one. Okay, so you get a whole game day. A uh, game day out of the Felix Francis. Well, uh. Do I now not need to do anything? That's it. That's. <laughs> Do I just leave it and it does its own thing? Do I click? No. Okay. Looks like you just do nothing and you just wait. Sweet. Oh, yes. And that's odd. What's happening? I was impressed okay. that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wicked World potion. Oh, thank you. Oh. It means a lot coming from your fellow Raven Club. And I, I feel like I just missed out on what happened with old mate. Try. Well done. Oh. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. <laughs> I missed what happened with Some our students old seem mate so confounded by potion recipes. It's as if they're written in go a fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. <laughs> Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. Okay, very well. I wasn't probably. expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. Mm, yes, I'm just cleaning. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. Okay, well, that. Yeah, I feel like there's something I missed there, but that's alright. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You <laughs> seemed rather seconds. busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Uh, uh, I'm minute. not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favor with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. I'm not keen on this guy. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. Just, In addition to having a solid okay. grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Well, mate. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Very well. Probably got some main quests to continue on with now. But uh, I might uh, brew some potions first. Well, welcome back. I just solved a Hogwarts quest. Probably should have filmed it, but I saw flame thingies. And then figured out the little uh, little puzzle. Revelio. It was actually quite simple, but that's all right. Also, I brewed a bunch of potions, so I'm up to I brewed like six more wingle weeds, wiggle wilds, wiggle piggly pigglies, uh, some more of those endurous ones, and a felice. Felixy. But yeah, I wonder if there's anything worthwhile under here. Rebellion. Kilted garb, eh? Let's see. Eye for gear. Not that 
that much better, but I'm gonna change my appearance. Cause that looks ridiculous. Let's go back. Hey, okay. well that's that's something. Anyway, heading my way to Mr. Ollivander in Hogsmeade at the moment, but I feel like I'll just do a bunch of little questy things on my run there. Yeah, I saw that these were not um on and then I noticed that thing that it had different little bits. But yeah. Anyway, I'll see you at Mr. Ollivander's. Now, on my way to Ollivander's I found another spot to wait and talk to a guy. It's our uh, old mate from Potions. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was so. After you helped me with that cool. for feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. Okay, so by helping you him, see, I can help him I have again. I an idea for a fizzing Wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Uh, okay. Where do you find time for this and your homework? homework. I have plenty of time for both. <laughs> Been managing for years. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeydew's oh, cellar. Okay, so I get them myself, from somewhere. but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeydew's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds like a passion. Uh, a of course. A you never know Sounds when like you a proposition. Need an escape from the castle. Sounds Brilliant. like a Thank plan. You. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret fit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywig things? Too expensive. They're not for sale, oh. and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out <laughs> is through the secret entrance. Are you asking me to steal from the shop? Goodness, <laughs> it's not as if I'm asking you to rob Gringotts. Honeydukes is more than enough, and I only need a few. It's a sweets ingredient. They won't be missed, trust me. Are we sure this guy should be in Gryffindor? Looks like a Slytherin. I'll see what I can do, but Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Okay, so I might go do... I'll need to get those dried billywigs things for Gareth if he's to finish his latest <laughs> concoction. I don't have to. I think I might go do that one. Things already did the uh, herbology. That's what this episode I think is up to is herbology and that potion. So we already did a, f a fair bit, few um bits and pieces. So if I just do a single, um, a quick little uh, side quest and then call it until you do Ollivander's next. Let me find out where I need to go though. Right, it's surprisingly not too difficult to find, as with anything. Descendium. 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 <sighs> Cutscene. Okay, let's see. Revelio. I suppose we. A lift. Must be how I get down. Mm. Well, that looks broken, so that's straight forward. Right, is there anything that else? seems to have done the trick. I right, yeah, quickly grab some of this. Bit of this, bit of that. Uh, I'm just gonna press it now or interact. Nah, sure, just use there. Yeah. Straightforward enough so far, guys. So far, so far. Hopefully, we don't, you know, have to drop down. Rebellion. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Alright. Oh, I can grab these, these are useful. I 
Incendio. Revelio. What is that? Incendio. There's another. I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? Hmm. That'll be a Levio, so I imagine. Revelio. Uh, was that the right way or is it? Oh. Was there another way up here? No, it's just a drop down. Okay, very well. Um, I imagine a Levioso. Levioso. Yeah, fairly straightforward idea. Revenue. Going to have to get past this. Love you so that. Is there anything down here? That's something in there. Checking there's anything on the water. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. Might as well collect everything while we're down here. Rebellion. My only problem is I can't help myself but go after all of the loot. These, these, uh, these missions take far longer than they should. That looks like that must have been the little... Oh no, some more. Oh. Can't cast Rebellion in the water. Ah, that's all good. Let's just get out of here. Okay. Again, pays to go exploring, maybe. I don't know if I got anything good from that. I wasn't actually paying attention. Exciting, nah. Levioso. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Hmm. Okay, does so that mean I'm going to have to go back down? Something's getting in the way of that platform. Accio. Uh. Levioso. Ah, yep. Aha, got it. There you go. Puzzles aren't too bad. Rebellion. Hopefully we're almost there now, because I'm feeling like this uh this episode's gonna go on for ages because I keep this doing random stuff. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honeydukes. Let's collect all Rebellion. Collect all the money. Oh, yeah. Too easy. Too easy. 
I'm like back in Skyrim days, I just I half start a conversation and then I pressed F4 to stop my recording. Um, like being back in Skyrim and just uh, thieving around. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? I. Revelio. Feel like this one will probably useful to have at the moment. Maybe. I have the dried billywig stings. Now back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Can I just sneak my way through? I might as well get all of Anders. Rebellion. While I'm here, ah, gotta go through that door. Need to learn the alum Aloha Mora. So, all right, well, we're not gonna end up back at Gareth to end it. We'll probably just end it here, things. So I'm gonna start my next star uh, <laughs> questy questy. Whilst I'm hearey hearey, and I've already matey matey, but I will uh, see you guys in the next one, probably very shortly.